Hey guys, I'm going to walk you through some of the basics of Show It just to help you get started. Um, after you've loaded a template or selected a site, this is kind of the screen that you'll see. Um, and you have a site tab up here on the left and a page tab. Your site tab shows you all of the pages within your site as well as your blog and your site canvases. The page tab shows you the canvases that make up whatever current page you're on. So you see uh, home is highlighted, so that's the page I'm on. I go here, it says home, and these are the canvases that make it up. So canvases work in that you have site canvases and regular canvases. Um, site canvases, you can tell by this hatch pattern that's on them. Um, and also when you hit edit, it kind of isolates that canvas for you to edit. And what site canvases do is you you have them on multiple pages and when you edit it, it will have the same effect on all the pages. So typically like your headers are site canvases and you'll see it's on every page that I go to. Um, and that just makes it easy because your regular canvases, any changes that you make only impact this canvas that you're in. It doesn't you know, impact anything else. So you can use site canvases for your headers. You can use them for testimonials is another good one. Um, your contact form is a great one to use for show it. Um, and your footer, of course. So that's canvases. And let's talk real quick about editing your, your canvases. When you click inside a canvas, let's go to our page tab, and you can see I'm inside this, this intro canvas. Whenever I click into it, it shows all the components, um, including views, um, text, links, everything, uh, shapes. And you see whenever you click something, it highlights what it is. You can select it over here, or you can select it just in the view. Um, to edit things, for text, you simply just double click and type away or copy and paste. For shapes, you can see this is a shape right here. And you are able to adjust the size by just dragging the corner or the side. Or you can manually type in something if you're looking for an exact dimension. You can also change the, the look of it right here where I have transparent. This is the fill color. So if I had a color here, it would change the inside, the, the fill of the box. And the border color, let me go back to the transparent. Border color just changes the border color, obviously. I'm gonna undo real quick. And let's talk about links. So this is just text, but I've made it a link. Um, and how I've done that is you go to click actions on your right and you see how it's got this link is linking to canvas you can also link to page you can link to a URL offsite to social page there's lots of options here for this one I'm linking to canvas and I'm linking to this canvas so I want it to stay within this canvas so that's selected and I'm going to just have it go to the next view and over here you can see I have view 1 and view basically 2 so when I click view 2 this is what you're going to see when the people click on that button that says continue reading this is what is considered the next canvas and here you can edit all the information here as well and this is another button that I have canvas, this canvas, and previous and that will just take them back to the main view. Um, I think that's kind of it to get you started, and I will upload a few more tutorials. Thanks.